our homework for 6-1 roots and radical expressions was 1, 3, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 15, 17, 18. And this is how it goes. Number 1 said find this in 3, find all the real square roots of each number. So you want to start out by taking the square root of 625. So, oops, do this again. So we want to start off by going the square root of 625. And you want to try to find a factor to a power that matches the index. Well, our index here is 2. So we need to try to write this in a factor of a power of 2. Well, 625, that's divisible by 25, which is the perfect square of 5. And actually, that's 25 times 25, All right? So it is 25 squared. And so that cancels out, and you get that the answer is positive and negative 25. So it's positive 25 and negative 25. And then the second one. You have 16, 18, so you want to see what is the square root of 16 over 81. And if we can rewrite that in a factor that matches our index, which is 2, we can rewrite both of those um, as 4 squared over 9 squared. And if you want to take the extra step and break these up as 4 squared over square root of 9 squared, that's going to equal, out here, positive, negative, 4 over positive, negative, 9. So it's just positive and negative 4 nines. And that's all there is to that. So 5 and 6 is find all the real cube roots of each number. So you want to find what is the cubic root of 1 over 64. Okay, so when we get that, you think, what can I multiply together three times and get 64? Well, that would be 4. 4 times 4 times 4. So this is equal to the cubed root of 1 fourth times 1 fourth times 1 fourth. All right, because 4 times 4 is 8. I'm um, excuse me. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. So those cancel out. Well, let's rewrite it as 1 fourth cubed first, right? And then these cancel out to 1 fourth. And that's your answer. On 6, you're going to say what is the cubic root of 0 0.027? Well, we already know 3 cubed is 27, so we can just add our decimals and make that work for us, right? So it's 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.3. Okay, and so that is equal to the cubic root of 0.3 cubed, and those cancel out to 0.3. And that's our answer. 8 and 9 says find all the real fourth roots of each number. Well, it doesn't matter what root when you're dealing with 1. It doesn't matter what the index is. It's always just going to be a 1. Right? Because 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is 4. So 1 to the 4th power is 1. So when they cancel out, you get a 1. Now over here, uh, you look at negative 1296. Well, they want to know what is the real fourth root of a negative number. Well, because this is an even power, when you multiply something together four times with an even power, um, you're going to get a positive. There's no way we can get a, a negative out of that. So because our index is even, you cannot get a negative number by multiplying them. 
so there is no real fourth root. And that's your answer. 10 and 11 says find each real root to start find a number whose square, cube, or fourth root is equal to the radicand. So they start number 10 out for us, right? So they say 400 is 20 squared. Well, that's an index of 2, right? So when you take cancel that, you're going to get 20. And then for this one, notice that the negative is outside the radical, so that's got to stay outside of there. That's like multiplying everything by a negative 1. So what is the fourth root of 256? Well, if you take uh, 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, you get 256. So that becomes 4 to the fourth power is 256, then those cancel out. Don't forget that negative sign outside there, so it becomes negative 4, because that negative carries down each time. That's your answer. Our next two problems, 13 and 15, says so simplify each radical expression, use absolute value symbols when needed. To start, write the factors of the radicand as perfect squares, cubes, or fourths. So on 13, we're going to use square, perfect squares. On 15, we're going to use fourths. We need to rewrite all of our radicands as factors of our index, the powers of our index. Okay. So here they started 13 fourths. And we have 5 squared times x cubed squared. Remember, a power to a power, you just multiply them. So 3 times 2 is 6. So this is nothing more than rewriting 25 is 5 squared, and x to the 6 power is x cubed times x squared. So, so now we're going to, if you want to split them up, you can. And then these cancel out to 5, and these cancel out to x cubed. So your answer is 5x cubed. And over here, we can rewrite 16 as 2 to the 4th power. And then we can write the x to the 4th to the fourth power, because 4 times 4 is 16, right? And we can write y to the fifth power to the fourth power. So everything's in the fourth power. So now this cancels out, so we have a 2x to the fourth, y to the fifth. And that's your answer. Oh, and because uh, We've got an odd power there. We want to keep the absolute values on those. If they were on the x to the fourth, well, x to the fourth is uh, even, so you take it off because it's always going to be positive. So that's it. 2x to the fourth times the absolute value of y to the fifth. The last two problems find two real solutions of each equation. Well, we're just going to solve this like an x. We're just solving for x. Make this bigger. So we have x to the fourth equal 81. So we know we have to take the fourth root of each. So that becomes x equal the fourth root of 81. Right? And we know 81 is 3 to the 4th power, right? Because it's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 is 81. So that's why we do this. So now we have x equal the 4th root 
of 3 to the 4th power. And that cancels out, so x is equal to positive or negative 3. And they said the two real solutions. Okay, so that's the positive negative. And over here, we've got x squared of 144. Well, we know 144 is 12 squared, so we can rewrite this as x squared equal, well, let's take the square root of each side, right? And then we get x equal positive negative the square root of 12 squared. Well, and 12 squared is 144. So that's just going to be x equal positive negative 12. And that is our whole homework assignment. Thanks for watching. Hope you did well.